I look like I have bed head right now. I really do. Oh, it's awful. Good morning, guys. It is 5.57 a.m. on Wednesday, the 24th of May, 2017. Ooh, I can't put my hair up because I don't know what this is. I'm having an awful hair day, okay? And I have a, and I have an appointment. It's not. I don't. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna do anything. I think we're just gonna talk about it. So that's great. The thing I'm really frustrated about. I have a freaking pimple on my face. I, I hardly ever get pimples on my cheeks. I always get pimples on my nose. I never get pimples on here. I want to get them. I'm not happy. Oh, I also have one above my eyebrow here. I always get them there too. Uh, it's frustrating. I think it's because of stress. And I think my ear is still swollen yet. My ear is still, still pretty swollen. So I need to clean it. All right, let's. I, I, I planned on wearing something super cute today. And I was just like, I don't care. I just want to wear something super comfortable i don't care about it being super cute i don't care if i just wore this recently i don't care anymore it's so like i wish the weather would improve it's like 50 something degrees out right now it's it's just not warm enough so i uh, i'm gonna wait till the weather gets better for me to wear something actual actually like cute and stylish i'm just for so for now i'm just gonna wear what I always wear, like I, I don't care. I know I like should care, I think, but I don't. I don't know. I just don't. I'm just in that that mood right now, like kind of like I don't. I don't care mood. I'm not like happy. I'm not like upset. I'm just kind of like, eh. you know. I don't really know what to talk about because I have nothing going on today other than school midterm that I just I did not study for because I had so much other stuff to do and hair stuff and then picking my dad up from the airport tonight but my mom and I did talk about talk yesterday for a little while about her and she wants to be healthier and lose weight and stuff and I was like you've got to eat healthier she does exercise which she, she doesn't really she just does push-ups she does like a hundred push-ups every day but that's that's the only exercise she do. I was like, she does. I was just like, mother, you need to have a variety. Doing just push-ups is it's gonna help you a little bit, but your body's gonna get used to it. Cause when you do the same workout all the time, your body gets used to it, and then you're not really burning anything anymore. You're just kind of doing it for no reason. So I was like, you can do your push-ups, but you gotta do other stuff too. And you also gotta eat healthier because she just doesn't eat healthy. She doesn't and it's awful and it makes me sad and it makes me angry. When I see all my family members eating awfully, awfully. Like my mom, since my dad hasn't been here, she's just been getting fast food like almost every night. And it's, it's gross. It's just gross and it's for, for her and my brother. I'm just like, you gotta eat healthier. You have to go lose weight. You can't lose weight unless you're going to eat healthier. And she's also been kind of restricting herself. And I was like, you're not going to lose weight that way either because your metabolism is going to really slow down. And, and you're not going to lose weight when you're not doing anything. Because when you're like eating, actually eating a lot of healthy foods, you you know, increases your metabolism, speeds it up. And then you're burning when you're at rest. But if you're restricting, you're not. And I didn't know that when I had my eating problems, but she started to get into that and I was like, you just you can't do that either. You just need to eat a lot of healthy foods, not a little bit of unhealthy foods, not equal. So we we're talking about that. She said she's going to actually eat breakfast with me today. She never eats breakfast with me. She winds up eating like matzah and butter for breakfast or like she, she told me she just had cheese sticks for breakfast. I was like, mother, that's awful. You gotta have a sustainable breakfast. It is the base, the foundation of your day, of your fuel, of your energy. You need to have a good breakfast. It's so important. So she's like, fine, I'll eat breakfast with you. I'll have oatmeal. And she's like, do we have any fruit? I was like, I don't think we have any fresh fruit. I don't really don't think we have any fresh fruit except for one apricot. She goes, okay, I'll just have that then. We have a lot of dried fruit, but we don't have a lot of fresh fruit. It's because it hasn't really been the season yet, I don't think. Plus, I'm not like, like I have to figure out what my like, what my favorite fresh fruit is. I like, I like cantaloupe and honeydew and stuff, but I don't like. I actually have never tried watermelon. There's a lot of like fresh fruits I haven't tried just because I became a vegan in 
like last summer by the way june 1st is my like one year like anniversary for not eating meat i became a vegetarian on june 1st i didn't become a vegan yet i actually really don't know the day i became a vegan i know i don't know if that's bad i, I think it was in august i'm not sure but it was sometime in the summer i know that but i know that june 1st is when i became a vegetarian so if that means anything my meatless anniversary but anyway what was i talking about but anyway, my mom said she's gonna eat breakfast with me. We need to make her a meal plan because she needs a meal plan or else she can't eat healthy, I guess, because that's what she told me, which I think is a cop out, but whatever. We'll make her a meal plan if that's what's gonna help her. Hey guys, it's 4 13 right now. One, I can't explain to you how itchy my hair is now. My head, my scalp is so itchy. But you know what? She was really helpful. I really liked her. I'm just really, really upset. I'm short. My hair is now. It doesn't go down on my butt anymore. It goes down here. Let's see if I can show you. It's this short now. It only goes down to here now. It used to go down to like here go down here and she quit so much I'm so sad but I hope but it also feels a lot healthier so I'm sure it's okay she was very respectful of the fact that I like to take the natural approach to the things she told me what to cut out and what to add she's like cut out the baking soda and the salt it's so bad for your hair it's it's really really drying out your hair because baking soda is essentially a detergent and it really really dries things out and it and it irritated and damaged my scalp and that's why I had so much buildup and dandruff she really really gave me a really cleanse my, cleansed my hair and gave me a really big scalp massage because I had so much buildup of dandruff because my scalp was so irritated from the baking soda and the salt was not helping either so I cut that out keep using apple cider vinegar which I haven't actually used in a little while so keep using the apple cider vinegar and the coconut oil Add in lavender and rose hips and mint apparently is really really good for your hair. She used a uh, on rosemary. She used a rosemary mint shampoo and conditioner in my hair. It was by Avena, which they use there, which is a very natural organic brand, which I which is pretty good. My hair is so itchy, maybe my hair is just not used to having it done with actual soap in a long time. But yeah, she was really helpful and she was really nice and respectful and all that kind of stuff. So she's just like, yeah, mix like lavender and rose hips with some water and spray it in your hair, even if it's dry or you're in the shower. Use your co coconut oil as a conditioner, but also it's really good if your hair is feeling just like every once in a while, just to put the coconut oil, not just here, but like everywhere, because normally I don't put it in my roots because I don't want them to get greasy. But that's kind of, that's why I use baking soda in the first place. I thought it was gonna help, but you know what? Baking soda is like too drying. So I'm not gonna use that anymore. And use the coconut oil all over your hair and let it sit overnight. And then in the morning, when you rinse it out, it'll be really moisturized and all that kind of stuff. So she gave me all these really helpful tips. So, uh, yeah. I thought I'd ch pass them off to you guys. And I didn't have a chance to have my smoothie because I was stupid. And I didn't eat anything when I at school. So then I got home. I'm starving. And it's kind of too late for that now. So I'm going to eat a bunch of these apple chips. And I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. Probably just the rest of that eggplant pasta thing. The good thing is, in health class, we had a free period because there was a bunch of people absent. So, I just used it to finish editing yesterday's video, and then I did my math homework. So, I don't have any written homework. I just have a lot of studying to do. So, well, not a lot. I just have to study for French and for science. That's all I gotta do for schoolwork. So, yeah, everything's good. But my head is so freaking itchy right now, and it's too short. I'm sad. It'll grow back, though. I'm also happy that my mom picked me up apple chips, Ezekiel cereal, apple butter, herb de Provence, and olive spread. I was out of all of these things. And frozen cherries. Hey guys, it is 5.38 right now. I've just been chilling. My brother took 
my brother. My mom took my brother to some park so we could hang out with his friends. My dad's flight got a little delayed, but that's okay. So I think we need to leave around seven, seven something. But I'm not gonna get back until kind of late, so I'm gonna try to like get get everything done before then. So I need to upload my video and I need to like clean my ear and all that crap. I need to blow my nose again too. Oh, I'm so sick of my aunt being so stuffed. Oh, my mom just got home. I need to think of something else to do. I'm bored. I could study, but like that's boring. <laughs> I'm gonna study. I need to study. But right now, I don't want to. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm starting to have really, really bad sinus pressure, like really, really stuffy nose, like too stuffy and my head hurts. I'm tired. I don't like how short it is, but you know what? I gotta admit, it looks and feels so much healthier. So it was necessary. It was really necessary, but I just didn't want it. But my hair is crazy because, you know, after it's after it's wet, it gets crazy. So I'm going to throw on my hat. Oh, that actually made it look worse. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but my hair is crazy. Especially like this. Like, it's super, like, curly. Super curly now. Well, maybe when it gets to be, like, less curly because it decreases in curliness the more I don't wash it. Then it goes, like, down because of the sebum, a.k.a. the natural oil in my hair and skin. It kind of like goes throughout my hair and then it kind of flattens it a little bit. So, yeah. But it does look and feel healthier. So, I guess that's important. And we're gonna have to leave at like seven o'clock because we're gonna, we gotta go pick up my brother who's hanging out with his friends right now and then go to the airport. And then when we're in the car, I'm gonna edit this video. I got everything done for yesterday's video. It's just processing so I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be published until we get home like it I don't know maybe 9 30 I'm not actually I really I really don't know maybe nine o'clock not really sure but I know it's not gonna be like published until then but everything else for it it's done so I'm gonna continue icing my ear because it's still swollen and it hurts and then I'm gonna go downstairs get some water this weekend my face needs a good pampering hopefully I'm gonna ask my mom and get our nails done because last weekend I got my ear, ear pierced today, I got my hair done, and I, I just kind of like need to like redo myself a little bit because I've just been in a really bad funk lately, so I just want to kind of health, healthify myself. Obviously, this is not good, but like I've been nice in it, you know, it's fine, and I just need to get my, ha my nails done, and... What was I was gonna say, oh yeah, this weekend I just, I really need to clean my face and put on a pore strip and a face mask because I've got a pimple here. Just like how bad my skin is. Like, it really needs a pampering, so I'm gonna do that this weekend. But right now, I'm gonna go downstairs and get myself some water because I'm really thirsty. Uh, my father brought me back. He brought, he brought me a new friend too. <laughs> 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 I, feel like I thought it would look cool in your room as like a you know decoration. It's so Zachary yep. wearing this all day. So I'm wearing it to school. Zachary, Zachary the bass murderer and Sydney Crawfish. Look at look at the contrast right here. Yep, cute and the ugly. Hey, hey, hey. Fine, fine. The cute and the creepy. There we go. That's an alliteration. Cute and the idiot. How about soft and hard? Um, Zach. That's gross and inappropriate. No. You're gross and inappropriate. Thank you. Put it out. Look who's home. Daddy. There's no place like home. Look what he's 
He brought him this book that he was reading. I'm reading this when he's done. <laughs> From the house key. Oh wait, my flash is still on. Get in my eye. You need help? Oh, sorry. Help you what? Taking a TikTok. So, somebody, somebody found a house key just like on the ground. And it wasn't near any houses. It was like buried under the ground at the park. Maybe it was somebody trying to hide their key. Why would you want to hide your key? Did you try it in our door? Yeah, I just did. It wouldn't turn. It fits, but it won't turn. Read this paragraph. Okay. The rare people who do become truly exceptional at something do not do so not because they believe they're exceptional. On the contrary, they become amazing because they're obsessed with improvement. And that obsession with improvement stems from an unerring belief that they are in fact not great at all. That's anti-entitlement. People Does that sound familiar? Yeah. People who become great at something become great because they understand that they're not already great. They are mediocre, they are average, and they could be so much better. Yeah, that sounds like me. Alright, there's that one. I dog eared a couple of paragraphs and I haven't read the whole book. People may perceive that they feel lonely, but when they ask themselves why they feel lonely, they tend to come up with a way to blame others. Everyone else is mean, or no one is cool or smart enough to understand them, and thus they further avoid their problem instead of seeking to solve it. Yeah, okay. There's some wisdom in that, isn't there? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like this book already, and I really Yeah, I, I've been reading it, and I, I was thinking about you. You know, it's a, it's a dirty title, but what it really is saying is that there's a way to kind of split the switch and learn not the whole notion of not giving a fuck means not letting things bother you not letting things weigh you down yeah. and there's a way to con condition yourself so as not to feel that way smell this what is that uh, it smells good it smells like bubble gum because it was in there oh Okay, it's currently 10.25. I've just been talking and catching up with my dad and stuff. Here's Cindy Crawfish <laughs> chilling here. And yeah, I'm gonna end today's video here. If you like to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video and my channel to those that you think might be interested. And leave me comments down below. The comment of the day would be, what is, where is your favorite place to like study? It's Cause like, I thought of that because I actually like studied something in the car I said study for my science test in the car because I thought you know it's a perfect opportunity I like studying here at Starbucks occasionally the library at school sometimes in the car yeah what's your favorite place to study I hope you guys enjoy and love you bye